biggest challenge for this movie is try to deliver a character of this scale. Everybody's familiar with sharks. People watch Shark Week. We know what a shark looks like. Um, and we have to convince the audience that we're dealing with a shark that is 75 feet long instead of 15 to 18 feet long like we've seen with great white sharks. Now normally when we have a giant creature on screen that we have to deliver, we can place the creature next to things that we know the size of. So we have buildings and cars and trees. But in our underwater environment, we don't have any of these landmarks. So it's up to the animators to be able to convey this gigantic creature and show that, you know, she's not the shark you're used to seeing, that this is indeed a, a super shark. We started looking at whale footage. You know, we get that beautiful sense of, of power and weight that a whale has. But of course, you know, when you see a whale swimming, they're very graceful and very peaceful. And it's almost relaxing. And that's obviously not the emotion we're trying to portray with our character. So we worked really hard to find that balance between this big, powerful creature moving slowly through the water and the erratic nature of the way a shark swims, that aggressive high energy, you know, quick turn on a dime makes her all the more menacing. There's a great mix of, of a lot of different uh, techniques with, with our mag creature. So we hand keyed the swimming cycle and most of the behaviors and, and performance aspects of the shark. Um, in terms of it swimming through space and deforming to change in directions and things like that. That was procedurally driven by the paths that we laid out. We would also trigger muscle contractions, which were then figured out by our muscle solver. Uh, we use Ziva to do muscle contractions and fat jiggle and skin simulations. We have a lot of things going for us when we're trying to present a shark that is scary. Sharks are very naturally terrifying, and there's a lot of reasons for that. Built into the shark's anatomy, the design language of a shark is just inherently scary looking. If you look at the classic shark silhouette, there's acute angles and sharp pointy shapes all over the shark's body, and that inherently signals stay away from this creature. We were very careful not to add too much personality because as soon as you start to anthropomorphize a shark, you kind of kill the illusion. Part of what makes a shark so menacing is this aloofness and they don't seem to even regard anything else in the water. So we wanted to keep that kind of dead eye stare that a shark has. But of course, you know, we, we want to be able to amp up the threatening and menacing nature in, in certain shots. So we have ability to curl the lip back and bar bare the teeth. And we even had a little bit of a uh, eyebrow furl to make the eyes look a little bit more angry. But we use that just so sparingly not to kill the, the shark-like nature of our creature. 